Researchers have developed a new contact tracing web app which combines COVID alert locations from across the country in a bid to make pandemic data more easily accessible. Joining me live is Colleen Lau, researcher from the University of Queensland. This is very exciting, Colleen. Tell me more. Thanks, Tim. Uh, so, yes, we've developed a, a platform where we can um, uh, bring together current contact tracing alert locations from across Australia uh, to make it much more easily uh, accessible by people so that they can have, have a better understanding of what the current situation in, in Australia and act uh, accordingly. How will that help um, the various health departments and state governments to uh, know where people are, particularly those that have COVID or uh, close contacts? So what our app does is it shows all the uh, locations on a map and it's interactive so you can zoom in and out of the map just like you can in Google Maps. Um, click on any of these locations and get uh, uh, information about the dates and times uh, of these exposures and the uh, current uh, uh, advice from health departments. So health departments, you know, they do, of course, have this information themselves, but it's very useful to have all the information from different states and territories in one place because Australians do travel between um, places, as we all know. Uh, also, it's um, in particular, I think, useful for the public. So these websites and, and web apps are uh, uh, publicly available. So if you as a, a member of the general public want to know what's happening around you, have a look and see where the latest uh, uh, announced locations are, whether you've been to these places, whether you need to do something um, such as get tested or, or stay home, or if you just want to have a look and see where the, the current clusters are and try and avoid going to those places if you don't have to. So that's, um, you know, a, a many uses for the public, but also other groups like um, uh, doctors, for example, it would be useful for them to know what's happening around their clinics, particularly GPs where, you know, most of their patients would uh, uh, live and, 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 and go shopping around those areas. Um, aged care facilities might also want to know what's happening around them or other organisations that might be uh, dispatching people out to the community uh, to do various things. They might want to avoid certain areas uh, if there are a lot of uh, active cases uh, happening there recently. There's been enormous uh, research done, hasn't there, right across the world in technology science uh, and medical science. A lot of this, uh, they say every cloud has a silver lining. It's been a pretty grim time for the world the past year and a half. But a lot of these advances and the things that we've worked out will be useful in other uh, scenarios, other scenes going forward. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So we've built our platform with that in mind. Uh, we've built it for COVID for obvious reasons, but uh, it can be used um, uh, for any other diseases or any other public health emergencies. But you know, one of our, our biggest focus is to make this public publicly uh, easily accessible uh, so that, you know, the whole community is informed without having to go and check multiple uh, places for information. So having it um, uh, mobile friendly also has uh, has made the, the app much more popular. But, you know, you're right with technology. Uh, so much uh, has happened in the, in the past uh, 18 months. Um, so I used to work as a GP and uh, also a telemedicine doctor. Uh, and in the last 18 months, the, the technologies for telemedicine has just, you know, advanced significantly. And the rollout across uh, uh, general practices in Australia has been, you know, incredible right from the beginning of the, the pandemic. Yeah, we need the vaccine rollout to be as good as that. Hopefully, moving forward, we can be better at it. It's so important, isn't it, Colleen? You can do as much research as you can, but people just need to get vaccinated. Yes, absolutely. You, you know, we, that's why we need to bring the whole community on board. Um, so communication of information such as the contact tracing alert locations are really important so that people can uh, more, you know, more easily uh, abide by public, public health directions. But vaccination is uh, super important, as we can see from uh, different countries around the world that have uh, much higher vaccine coverage rates than us. You know, things are really um, uh, starting to, you know, go back to, to, to some kind of normal more easily. And, and there is a point to this, because you are a researcher, um, a GP, you've done all this, the, the study yourself. A lot of people say, oh, well, I mean, this has all happened fairly quickly, but there's never been a time in the history of the planet where you'd have as many eminent minds working together on the one thing. 
Yeah, yeah, that does for sure. So, I mean, we, we certainly have had pandemics before, um, but, uh, you know, technology is incredible these days, not just uh, with things like, you know, apps and things, but with research, with um, our ability to share research uh, data and results from across the world, um, laboratory technology. I mean, everything is is so much more advanced uh, now than it was, you know, 10, 20, 50 years ago. So yeah, there's never been a time like this when it when it comes to technology and uh, and our ability to respond. And you know, as you can see, the number of vaccines that have just been um, developed over such a short time, it's it's really uh, uh, really very impressive. Well, this a new app is a, is a massive step in the right direction. Congratulations to you and your team, and thanks so much for coming on the program. Thanks very much, Tim. And I just also want to say that, you know, I'm just one person in a big team and um, uh, there's been you know, a lot of people working on, on this app, particularly uh, um, mm. our colleagues from the Australian National University, the uh, Research School of Population Health Graphic Team, yep. and also the ANU Software Innovations Institute. So big thanks to um, everybody who's uh, uh, been involved. Yeah, collective round of applause to everyone. It's been some amazing work. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks very much, Tim.